Yeah, my name is Trevor Philippi. Um, I'm a product designer. I work at Facebook. I live in San Francisco. Yeah, San Francisco is awesome. There's so many big tech companies there. As a designer, it's sort of amazing because you meet all these people who work at different companies and are kind of like-minded, maybe have different experiences. Because um, there are a lot of people that work there that I admired when I was in university, who I was reading their books and, and blogs and everything. And now it's like a dream come true because I get to kind of work with them and learn from them every day. Um, at Facebook, I primarily work on our, our ads and business platform team, working on a team called Delivery within, within ads. Um, and so I work on kind of a lot of things related to predictions and data visualization and some sort of complex, really like deep, gnarly systems problems, which is different from some of my friends who maybe work on kind of more delightful, smaller scoped kind of apps and stuff. Um, but it's a lot of fun. It's definitely challenging. It's been great. My understanding is it's the first iteration of it, and it doesn't definitely doesn't feel that way. Like I've been in small events that have occurred like every year and still have problems. So um, it's been really awesome, and everyone here is super nice and kind of warm and welcoming. So I think it's really cool. Oh man, I think it's important because you know I think there's a gap. Um, like when I was in school, I didn't learn like half of what I know now. Most of what I learned, I learned by just hanging out with friends and hacking and making apps. Um, and then also in my job, kind of learning on the job. So I think for industry people to go back and speak to their, their colleagues and kind of people in industry as well as students is really important um, because I think that we haven't quite figured out how to do tech education right now and, and teach some of the more hard skills people that folks need. Yeah, so in a learning environment, one of the things I try to like think about when, when I speak is like um, people are going to be bored and and disinterested and also like you want people to have things they can kind of be actionable with um, but in terms of focusing folks um, I, I focus on the commonalities between the two I think that developers and designers both are interested in having making good products so if you can kind of align around that then I think you can kind of have a successful talk I would say in most tech companies that do design effectively, the designers are embedded within product teams. So, you know, designers are ideally working ahead of engineers to kind of have a clear picture and story around what you're building as a team and then the engineers are building it. And again, I think if you're an effective team member, you don't want to keep your engineers out of the loop because again, like I talked about, more ideas are better. So you want to involve all your team members, no matter if they're designers or not. And you want to show them ideas as early as you possibly can and get them involved because they might have perspectives you don't. So it's like an engineer might not be able to draw a beautiful interface, but they could give an opinion that might help you get there. Absolutely. Yeah, it's been a blast. I mean, it's only day one, but I mean, we haven't even gone out yet, you know, so definitely. <laughs>